Hi guys, Assalamu alaikum. This is Kamran and you are watching my YouTube channel. In today's video tutorial, I will give you a demonstration about a uh, KPI card. Some people call it trend line card. Some people call it uh, KPI trend line with trend line card. So there is a uh, different name for the same thing. We will do it today. And if you have any comments or question related to the same topic, you can write me in the comment section below. Uh, so next you will see my computer screen. Thank you so much. Hi guys, this is my computer screen. So let's begin with the today's tutorial. Before we begin, I will let you know for, for the demonstration, there are some needed calculations which I already prepared here. These are the list of calculations which we needed for the trend line. And by the end of this video, you will be able to see a dashboard something like this. We'll try to make it something similar. And by the end of this uh, video tutorial, you will be able to do this. Please follow the complete video, watch the complete video. Do not miss it. So let's begin. Uh, I will open a new dashboard file for this. And for this tutorial, I will use the sample super store. You can see it here directly. I will use it. Uh, first of all, I already provide uh, this uh, list of uh, uh, calculation into the comment section in the description below. But let me create it for you. Uh, here yeah, let me let me first make a parameter a new parameter i'll say new create a parameter i'll name it air and i will choose uh, string uh, sorry integer and i will make a list and from the list i will add a value 2020 2019 2018 2017 and the display value i will remove the commas before because it's it doesn't look good with the air value because it's not an string it's an air it's not an integer basically so that's it and now we need to create some calculation what are the calculation i already mentioned in the description you can copy it let me copy this whole and i will explain shortly what is this i will remove for this so if you see this value i name it tile basically we are going to use this calculation into the tile and it is fixed. I am using a fixed level of calculation. It will always show you the total each air, each selected air. Whatever you select, this is the parameter here, purple color parameter, and this is the this is our order date field which I am converting into the air, and then I am making it uh, equal to the air. It's always take the whether you use max or not. It will always take the selected air from the parameter. Anyways, after that, after that it returns the same. So you will create this just click OK and repeat the process for three more uh, calculations. Let me create one more uh, sorry calculated field quickly. Sorry, I'm getting old. Control X no need this part and here we can paste the name and this field will use it into the body and here there is no level of fixed level of uh, uh, calculation defined whatever level you choose whatever level you filter it will filter but in the tile i don't want to filter it that's why it's specifically fixed for a specific air so now let's move on to the profit i'll copy the same thing make another or you can just duplicate this one duplicate and just edit it instead of uh, sales it will be profit similarly here instead of sale you just choose profit that's all this is the same formula by the way which i copied there similarly with the tile just come here and say duplicate and come here and edit instead of sales right profit and here also we change to profit that's all so now our calculations are already there now let's come quickly make a uh, tile or a card KPI card how to do that I will just name it early sales and here I will choose my my body value which is the early sales and then I'll choose the order date and order date I will convert into the continuous month and and I will choose my parameter value to show parameter currently 2020 is selected if you change the value yes it's working because we already create a calculated field based on the parameter so now it's working you can define any specific color you whatever color you like you can give it 
and you can hide the currently do not need to hide just press control and drag this value here and just go to the second pill and right click on it and say dual axis and make sure you don't forget to synchronize the axis once you synchronize we need we don't want to see the uh, axis you can hide it both axis you can hide it and from the second pill this one here just change the type from the mark start to the area so now uh, the area area is fill and this line if you make it more thicker just drag the one value and put it into the size this this look much thicker where the value is high the the line will be thicker so anyways one of one of our chart is ready and here in now now there is a uh, there is the trick to put the tiled value how to put the tiled value first of all we need the tiled value of the sales into the detail bring it into the detail and come into the headings and here you can say with this value early sales i need the parameter value as well for which year it's showing the value i'll just put a space here as well and say apply so i can see as early sales for i can write it for here for 2020 and i will just minimize a little bit size and i centerized and i change the color if you see now it look good and then i just press enter and i insert the value which i added into the detail which is select my air tile and this one i need it bigger right so i just say apply and that's all and if you now change the values you can see the values is changing right but make sure you have to remember this value will never filter because we use the fixed level of uh, calculation so now let's move or uh, let's format this because this have some lines get rid of this lines just go to the settings and say none all the lines panel line the divider lines the column dividers make it land go make it uh, remove it from even from the rows from the columns and the columns go to the uh, trend lines and make it none even for the columns go to the rows and make it uh, yeah so now it's clean everything is clean now let me duplicate it and i can say early profit and don't forget to change the values uh, now here here uh, you can directly come here and instead of sales i'll choose profit body same to this profit body yes so now it's get changed and make sure that we change the value here as well so come just double click on it instead of top sales you just write the profit body and this one need to be profit tiled as well profit tile and you can remove it this one and just drag it this again and go to the dual axis again synchronize one more time because previously take the body of the sales now we need to change it so that's why i'm doing it you can hide the headers so now we have profit everywhere if you see this is the profit tile profit body and in the area this is this is yes now we need to change it to the area that's all so we have the we have the area but now here it's missed because previously it was the it was the uh, sales instead of sales we need the profit we we'll just use profit and just remove it instead of this specific color i need the black color same as uh, the other one so now i need one more chart let me create a quick chart for it states and let me choose the profit profit body onto the colors and the sales body onto the labels and then i will change the color of the palette and i will choose red and green i will say sales by location 
and now this is a time for the dashboard i will use here a horizontal container i contain the sales and the profit together i will remove this for now and i need one more you can hide the indicator as well you can change the here by the way so you can see it's all already working and changing now we'll use another container horizontal container and we'll bring the map here and i think we need to change the name as well here yeah so here in the dashboard i will use one more container to populate the uh, title here i will name my sample dashboard i will make it fancy it's up to you how you like it i will drag this air into the same container and this profit into the same container and by the end you will just drag it up yeah and you can make it even this bigger and this name you can also make it fancy as per your choice say apply so now if you see i'll just go here and click on to this uh, filter option quick filter option and now you you can easily able to filter your data and you can see the differences but it is not filtering on the main values because it's fixed level of calculation and it will be always fixed for the specific selected air but whenever you change this parameter complete dashboard will change and then in the end uh, it's only left some of the adjustment settings for the arrangement of the stuff it's up to you how you want to arrange uh, i think i am done for the today's video tutorial if you have any comment any question related to the same topic please write me in the comment section i will be very happy to answer you please do not forget to subscribe and like my channel thank you so much see you in the next video